Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Ethereum. We're picking up right where we left off. We've now jumped into the Alia system, or whatever it's called, and we shall talk to Doc. Banche, pull up a seat. Valkyrie and I were just discussing our decision to stay. Having second thoughts? To be honest, when Athena gave us the choice to leave the Canopus and join back with the Alliance, I was very tempted to go. What made you stay? You guys and Doc. I hope I didn't impress you too much, little lady. <laughs> you opened my eyes to what was going on. Everyone here did. The fact that the Alliance is pursuing us proves that. Well, we did blow up a pretty big space station in Procyon. The Alliance isn't exactly going to just let us fly away. But they are sending considerable resources after us. Resources that should or could be helping the Vega people fight the Revy and rebuild. Our government was ready to abandon an entire sector of space and sacrifice millions of people for a piece of technology. <laughs> a broken piece of technology. I can't be part of that. All right. Well, I, I wanted to talk to Doc, but we ended up talking mostly to Valkyrie, so let's talk to Valkyrie some more. <laughs> Hi, Banshee. I can't believe everything that's happened in these last two weeks. Things have been so busy, we, even ha we haven't even had a chance to talk. I know what you mean. I keep going over everything in my mind. I still can't believe the Alliance abandoned Vega. What's more, I can't believe that I am here. Never during my days at the Academy did I ever think that something like this could happen. Well, believe it. And for, so, you know, it's been at least, I don't know, 20 episodes now, and uh, nobody has ever picked up this pillar <laughs> and moved it. I mean... I guess nobody wants to play on the piano. I I, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> Surely somebody would have thought, you know, maybe somebody wants to use the piano at some point. And by the way, what is that piano made from that it can hold up that pillar anyway? Uh, let's talk to Knight. There was nothing you could have done. I know that. I just keep thinking if I had just one more dumbfire. You're lucky to have had any dumb fires at all. The standard loadout for the Talwar is full seeker loadout. Commander Marion had ordered a dumb fire loadout on Romar Talwar a week ago. It was not a popular decision. I can't tell you the number of times I would be out there cursing her name as I watched Straw buzz by. Without those dumb fires, you would not have been able to slow the marathon. No one would have survived. Sounds to me like the commander made a good call. Yeah, you're... That's... Trying to find that silver lining, are you? Are you, knights? Well, might as well, I guess. We need to get a bearing on our situation. Our last reports show heavy activity in this system. Banshee, you'll lead a three-point patrol. Guardian will be flying on your ring. There is a supply depot in this sector. You'll perform a flyby at Nav 3 to assess their situation. With any luck, we'll be able to resupply and make repairs. Banshee, I'm looking forward to flying with you. I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'm looking forward to flying with me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Patrol 4 Nav points. I don't even know what I mean. After launch, head to Nav Marker 1. Clear out any enemy activity before proceeding to NAV 2. You know, I was just thinking, I haven't seen any asteroids yet, and now I've got nothing but asteroids. I got 500 problems, and they're all asteroids. Finally, head over to NAV 3 and check on the status of the supply depot. With any luck, it's still in operation. Head home via NAV 4. That's all. Once you return to base, report for debriefing. Godspeed. Oh, I'm sure somebody will be reporting for debriefing. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to bother to change the defaults. <laughs> I'm just going just gonna to stick with it. What I am going to do, though, is... I'm go since I'm tired of seeing this same cockpit over and over again, so we're going to go to Invisible... Invis... Invisi cockpit. <laughs> Invisi cockpit. <laughs> the latest invention from Invisi... Invisi Inc. <laughs> Invisi cockpit. Cockpit. <laughs> Uh, oh, Mayday, Mayday, we need ex need assistance. The Tchaikovsky. Let's see if we can assist the Tchaikovsky. And see how many times I can say Tchaikovsky before I get it wrong. 
Tchaikovsky? <laughs> Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky. <laughs> Five times fast now. Say it with me, everybody. Tchaikovsky. <laughs> this is what happens when a Let's Player runs out of things to say. <laughs> oh, we've got a whole breach. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm trying, guy. I'm trying. I really am. But the game... The game will not let me try. It will not... It will not have any of this... This try... Stuff. Alright, you... You need to focus on me, Stra. Strata. Stra, 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 Stra. In fact, I have some... Friend or foe missiles. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, 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 yes it did. Oh, nice. Nice. Jumping in 10 seconds. Just... Just jump already and stop talking to me about it. <laughs> okay, where's this other guy at? Did they did they jump out fast enough? I hope they did. Uh, and I keep forgetting where my <laughs> damn decoy deployment button is. <laughs> all right, render foes all over the place. Yes, that one's done for. Some alert warnings here. Alert chimes in my in my cockpit. Okay, that Grakath is done for. And this one will shortly join him. Sweet. Alright. Did the uh did Tchaikovsky make it out in one piece? I hope so. I only need to buy them ten more seconds. <laughs> For Christ's sake, I had one job, and it was just buy them ten seconds. <laughs> and man, am I, am I, everything's damaged here. Shield generators and all. But we will plunge on forward. We're not going to putter around and wait for our damage control to catch up. Uh, especially when we have asteroids in our way, in our midst. Asteroids in our midst. All right. Um, I will... Cut away and see you guys on the other side of this asteroid belt. Okay, made short work of that asteroid belt. Let's see what else we've got in front of us. Okay, nothing. So now on to Nav 3. Ah, now we got hostiles right next to an asteroid. Alright. See what we can do about this. Looks like we got some friendlies to help us out too. Cool. Wow, they're they're just kicking some butt there. Cool. All right. Well, that was relatively painless. And what is this? Is this some some sort of station here? Outpost one. Scarce fighters, welcome to the Elias system. Oh, nice. All right. Cool. I didn't know that there was going to be a station along this path. <laughs> Apparently there is. Let's head on to Nav 4, then. And that's all she wrote. Wow, that was relatively straightforward. Probably j just jinx myself. No, no, I guess not. Okay, that was uh, that was a cakewalk. Kind of strange though. You know, we get we get these cakewalks, and then we get ones that are they're not so not so easy to deal with. Great work out there. According to your flight recorder, the Tchaikovsky was able to jump out safely. Oh, nice, good. Uh, also, your scans show the supply depot was manned and operational. We have already plotted a course. Uh, okay, that's weird. All right. So, as I mentioned in the last episode, this is my second time through. Um, at least the first couple of missions here, because I, I recorded something and then I lost my audio, so I'm just re-recording this, you know, from the beginning. And the last time I came through here, that supply depot was not manned and operational. So, that's interesting. I wonder if that was a branch, because the last time I did this, the Tchaikovsky didn't survive. Hmm, that's interesting. 
I don't know. That's weird. Weird and interesting. Maybe it's just random. I don't know. That's why I guess I was so confused that there were people there. <laughs> uh, anyway, let us uh, see what's going on in the rec room. And we'll talk to Hawk. Hey, Banshee, you ever been to Aaliyah before? Can't say that I have. I've been here a couple times before. When I was younger, Deimos is one of the most amazing planets you'll ever see. It looks like a barren rock to me. Oh, don't let that fool you. There's a massive dome colony on the surface. My aunt and uncle had a mining operation just outside the city. At night, we'd suit up and head outside on the surface. You could look out into the pitch black sky and see all those rocks. Thousands of them. My brother and I would sit for hours watching mining crafts scurry between the rocks. We could never really see the craft themselves, just the bursts of light from their thrusters. It was an incredible sight. I would have loved to have seen that. Now with the Revy here, you know, Leah will probably be the last system to fall. With all those asteroids out there, several of them are large enough to support entire colonies. I can't tell you how many space stations and surface-based colonies are out there. It would take the Revy a decade to find them all. Sounds like a good place to hide. Hmm. Okay. Let's return to Carter, and let's go to the hangar. And Guardian. Hi, Banshee. I was just checking in with the Chief about my fighter. It's been great flying with you, but it's been so long since I've flown a medium fighter that I've taken a couple extra hits. Oh, <laughs> uh, not in my book. Don't worry about it, Guardian. The Chief's a great mechanic. She'll get your fighter back together in no time. Okay, well, that was just a reassuring pad on the back. And on to our next briefing. Hello, we are not scheduled to pick up supplies from the Aliyah outpost. They have agreed to resupply us. The outpost also warned us of increasing enemy activity in this sector, so I'd like a wing of cigars out flying cap. Refer to your flight computers for your assignment. There's a large Revy presence in this system, but with all the planetoids and large asteroids, the Revy forces are spread pretty thin. But remember that in our current condition, even a small force is a threat. Escort us to Aliyah Outpost via Nav 1. Then on to the outpost. Okay, so it's an escort mission. This, um, I don't know if this mission was the same as the one I had played before or not. It seems slightly different for some reason. Um, I guess let's just load up on friend or foes. Uh, even though they're not as, as powerful. Um, and I'm going to keep the dumb fires as it is. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to run into. Do, 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 do. And we got ourselves an escort mission. i got to turn my cockpit back off again. <laughs> kind of forgot. Alright, we've got hostiles. Got lots of hostiles just coming right for us here. Just making a beeline. Two two big Berthas too here. So let's see if I can thin the ranks a bit with my friend or foes. Alright. So far so good. This guy up here who's still focusing on Canopus. Hey guy. You don't want you don't want to go after him, you wanna go after me. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, that's that's right. Just keep your eyes on peeled on me. Alright, now this guy over here. Hey, 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 listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> there we go. And you you will not be purple for much longer, my friend. You will you will you will want to pay attention to me as soon as I actually land a freaking hit on you. There we go. Yes. See I'm I'm much more tempting target. Yes, you don't wanna you don't wanna go after you don't wanna go after a cap ship. You wanna go after me. Come on, come on, come on, one more hit, damn it man, it's always this last, it's always that last guy, 
Gotta be a pain in your butt. There we go. Sweet. All right, and now we got a Drica. I'll let my I'll let my buddies take this one out, and then I'll focus on the other one. Or actually, they seem to be focused on the other one. All right, so I guess I'll take this guy out. Or not. Holy crap. Oh, I did. Oh, cool. Cool. I did take him out. Jeez Louise. All right. And we are we are quite damaged. As evidenced by the fact that the damage report <laughs> it fills up the entire screen. All right. Let's do our autopilot thing. Hopefully we won't run into any more, any more fighters because I have no missiles left. No missiles to speak of. to the Aaliyah outpost. It's 256 kilometers away. That should be a nice little quick jump, hopefully, without any any bumps in the road. It's my hopes. Okay. Or there's going to be bumps in the road. But looks like we have we have some help from the Aaliyah outpost. Alright. Oh, actually, we are almost... Well, yeah. Let's see if I can target the ones that Try and target the Canopus. Okay, that was that was not smart of me. Um, these are these guys take a couple hits before they. Oh oh oh! Jeez Louise! I gotta manage my speed a little bit better than that. Oh cool cool! My my wingmen are. We're stepping up to the challenge here. Oh, we got a Patel Patel. Oh, this is not good. All right, guys, you need to you need to help me out here, wingman. Hey, wingies, <laughs> wingies, you need to help me out. Uh, can I, uh, guardian, attack my target, please? I don't have any missiles to take out this Patel Patel with, and he's gonna be targeting the hell out of me. Alright, let's get away from him. Oh, jeez, there's, there's a nuclear launch. Oh, come on, come on. Got one. Alright, there we go. Ugh. Ugh. All right, there's another nuclear torpedo coming in. Oh, whew! All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was that was a close shave. That was a very close shave. Holy crap! Okay. <laughs> Catch my breath here. We are cleared to dock. Thank you. Thank you very much, Canopus. I will request a landing anyway, even though you've already cleared me. Uh, oh, that's the... That is the space station. Uh, this is... <laughs> this is the Canopus over here. That has really, really seen better days. And I have almost no fuel left either. <laughs> Some dry dock facilities here we can patch up the canopus with. Uh, great work out there. It's a good thing those fighters from the Aaliyah outpost showed up, what, or we might have had a problem. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we almost had a problem. We got a very close shave with a nuclear missile, <laughs> two of them actually. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, I think that will do it for this episode of Ethereum. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.